Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keno Ties, and today is a warning, okay, today is a warning, like, this is not a game, this is not a joke, this is not a drill, this is not just a warning to one specific person, this is a warning to the body of Christ, and so, um, everything that I will say today, please take it back to prayer and give it back to God. And see what he say. Because for one, I'm not going to sit up here and call nobody out. You feel what I'm saying? Unless God tell me to. So, uh, yeah, today's a warning. And please listen. And like I said, if we'll go back to prayer. Bring his word back to God and see what he say. So, um, I was praying the other day. And God gave me a vision. And the vision was a woman um, standing in between the world and this bright light. And the bright light represented God. I knew it was God. And so she was looking at him and just standing there looking to this bright light. And then suddenly she just pushed the bright light away and just grabbed and just turned around and like grabbed the world and just was staring at it like head on just staring at the world like she couldn't lose it it was like a severe stare like she was just like you know what i'm saying and so i kept asking god like what did that mean what did it mean and today he answered my prayer and um it's this is a word for the whole church the whole ecclesia you feel what i'm saying so this is what he told me today thus saith the lord Counter all logic of what truly is important to me. It's getting out of hand how my servants hold my statutes. Disappoint me not. Anger me not in this hour. For time and time again, I've told of my return, but my bride twiddle her thumbs in support of my commandments. See forth now how I riddle the earth. May my roar shutter houses. She has not seen my anger kindled. For I spoke not on prosperity alone, but of judgment. I see how this works. You pray to me, and I shoot forth a blessing. This is not how that works. You work and seek me, my face. Then I shall add unto all things for your discretion. No wonder how my church has secured buildings for my name's sake as a plot. You use me as a source of money. And take whatever you can to the bank. How old will you be until my return? Old enough to see gray hairs, white labels? Have I not commanded you to speak to the nations of old to repent and come to me? Seek ye not my hand, but my face. How dare you speak upon me, but not known me? See forth, for I have forgotten thy name written in thy book of life. Seek not my work, I record in the book of your day. Blessed is not the one who rob and steal in my name. Grasshopper, no repent, for I grew not old as you, for I am ancient. See me not as a idol who do not stand. Worship not the nature of me, but know not my name. Sad is the day if you left this earth barren of spiritual guilt. Forsake not my hand. Glory is to come to all who seek me diligently. Those who come sightily will be brought down to nothing in this life and the one to come. Sign diligently the Lord Almighty. These are the scriptures that um, he led me to to read that is in correspondence with the word that he gave so the first scripture is john 14 15 if you love me keep my commandments first peter 1 4 as obedient children not conforming yourselves to the former lusts as in your ignorance isaiah 1 19 if you are willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land luke 6 46 But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Luke 11, 28. 
But he said, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Jeremiah 7.23 But this is what I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. John 8.51 Most assuredly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. And lastly, 1 John 5, 3, for this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. So like I said, take this word back to God and see what he say, if you are skeptical <laughs> in believing, but I'm pretty sure the Holy Spirit will confirm this word for you. But as always, never take anything what anybody say, always go back to God with his word. But um, yeah, we got to get right. Because I'm not even going to lie to you today, I even repented and not knowing he was going to speak that to me today while I was in prayer today. But like he, I repented today for the same thing, seeking his hand and not seeking his face. You feel me? And so we got to get, we got to get right with God because God mean exactly what he say. We cannot play with him. Not in the least. God is not a thing. He is not a it. He is a person. And this person created everything we see, hear, feel, touch, and taste. Don't play with God. <laughs> do not play with him. Over do not play with him. I had to repair that too, like earlier before. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm for real, like last year. You feel me? Because I was just like, yeah, God, my homie, he my G. You feel what I'm saying? But me not also remembering that God is holy. He is my friend, but God is holy and he created me and you and everybody else. You feel me? But like, we still have to have a reverence of him. We still have to respect him. Like, yes, God, he's, he's a God of love. Yes. He's a God of justice and righteousness. Yes. He's our father. He'll take care of us, but he also is a God of war. Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah of war. Yeah. And Jehovah Mekadesh, our sanctification. So in Jehovah to sicken you, our righteousness. So yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like the church is now like preaching this gospel, like, yeah, God is love, this and that, this and that, but they don't show the other faces of God because God is, is multi, you know what I'm saying? He has many different things. That's why he calls himself the I am because he said, whatever you need, that's what I'll be. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, we can't just love on one part of God and reject the other ones. We can't do that. Because if you truly love somebody, you will accept them for their whole totality, everything about them. You feel me? So, if God can love us and see the deepest, darkest, darkest, and messiest part of us, and he can still love us, then we can love God, too. He don't got no darkness in him. You feel what I'm saying? He's perfect. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, if God can love us at our worst and at our best, you feel what I'm saying? Then we can love God. Then we can love God regardless. You feel me? Because He's perfect. You know what I'm saying? And He loves us, but He still has rules and ways. You feel what I'm saying? We still have to respect Him. We cannot keep treating God like a bank, like a rag doll, like a spouse that we're not agreeing with. We can't keep treating God like that. No, especially I'm for real. And Jesus is our is our bridegroom. As the church, we're his bride. So basically, right now, we're cheating on Jesus. I don't think I don't think that's good. Not in the least. That's not good. So instead of running off with the you know the person that we're cheating on God with, let's leave them alone, drop them, completely cut off all ties with them. And go back to our rightfully spouse, our rightful spouse, and that's Jesus Christ. So, yeah, um, I love you all. <laughs> I pray you all have a great day. And like, once again, take this word to prayer. Ask God what, you know, so what he meant by it. You feel what I'm saying? See what he say. See if this word is true and valid. You feel what I'm saying? Even though I know what I heard. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I love you all. I uh, can't wait to see you again. Y'all have a great day. Bye.